Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be learning how to add and subtract fractions. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen. Two addition and two subtraction. And at the top of your screen in white, we have the steps we're going to take in order to solve these problems. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have two-fifths plus one-third. And the first thing you want to check for when you have an adding or subtracting fractions problem is to see if your denominators or bottom numbers are the same. And for this, obviously, we have a five and a three. So we are not ready to add those fractions yet. So our first step, we need to find a common denominator. And the way you do that, we need to find the least common multiple between 5 and 3. So I'm going to come over to the side here, list my multiples for 5 and 3, and see when they first meet. Now when you get good at these problems, um, and you have a little more experience, you'll be able to figure out the least common multiple in your head. And for more complicated problems, you might need to write out the multiples list. But for now, we're going to do it for all four of these. So let's write out the multiples of 5. And that's just counting up by 5, all the numbers that 5 will multiply into. So 5 times 1 is 5, 10, 15, and 20. Now that list will go on forever. So my suggestion would be to write out 3 or 4 at a time. And if you don't get a match, then you can extend your lists. So 3. We'll go 3, 6, 9, 12. Now, we don't have a match for our multiples yet, so I'm going to extend the 3's. And my next one, I'll get a 15. And we can see that 15 is our least common multiple here. The multiple that 3 and 5 share, that is the smallest in value. So we're going to use 15 for our denominator. So our next step, we need to rename both of these fractions with a denominator of 15. So I'm going to write 15 plus 15 here. Now we cannot just drop our top number or numerator down because that fraction will not be equivalent. 2 fifths is not the same as 2 fifteenths. So we're going to have to rename these with that 15. So I'm going to come to the side over here and we need to find the equivalent fraction for 2 fifths. Now you set it up like this and we have to see what we do to the bottom number, that 5, to get it to equal 15. And we take that 5 times 3 and it equals 15. So we need to do the same exact thing to the top and we, we will get an equivalent fraction. So two times three is six. So two fifths, its equivalent fraction with the denominator of 15 is six fifteenths. Now we need to do one third. So one third equals how many fifteenths? Well, three times five is 15. So we need to do that same thing to the top. 1 times 5 is 5. So this is going to be 5 fifteenths. So now we found our common denominator here. We renamed with that common denominator. Now we're ready to add or subtract. And this problem's addition. So 6 plus 5 is 11. And then we keep our denominator the same. We do not do 15 plus 15. We keep it as is, 15. And lastly, we check to see if our fraction can be simplified or broken down. Now, are there any numbers that can divide out of both 11 and 15 to break this fraction down? No, the only one is uh, only common factor between 11 and 15 is 1. So this fraction is simplified. We are done. 11 fifteenths would be your answer to number 1. Now that seems like a lot of work and a lot of steps there to uh, get down and just for a simple addition problem. 
but with practice and more experience, these go a lot quicker. So let's go to number two. We have one half plus two eighths. So obviously our denominators are not the same. So we're going to need to find a common denominator. So we'll make our list for two and eight, our multiples list. So two, four, six, eight. Now let's make our list for eight. Well, we start with eight and we should see a match. So our least common multiple is eight. So now we need to rename our fractions. So I'm not going to go to the side for this one. I'm just going to do it uh, right below our original problem. So I know this two, I need to multiply by four to get a denominator of eight, right? Two times four. So I need to do the same thing to the top. One times four is four. And as you can see here, we have an equivalent fraction. Four eighths is the same thing as one half. We're not changing the value when we rename. We're just giving it a different name and a different denominator. So we have a common denominator and we're able to add or subtract. Now two eighths already has a denominator of eight. So we don't need to change that at all. We are just going to bring the two down. It already has a denominator of eight. So we found a common denominator, we renamed. Now we need to add or subtract. So four plus two is six, and we keep our denominator as eight. Now we need to simplify. Are there any numbers that can divide out of six and eight, any common factors to break this problem down? Yes, they're both even and can be divided by two. So we get six divided by two is three, eight divided by two is four. Now the only common factor between that three and four is one. That's the only thing we can divide both of those by. So we are done. The answer to number two is three fourths. So let's go to number three. We have a subtraction problem. Seven eighths minus one third here for number three. So we obviously don't have a common denominator. So our first step is going to be to find one. So let's, let's list our multiples for eight and three. So eight, eight, 16, 24, 32. Now let's, let's list our multiples of three. Three, six, nine, 12. Now we don't have a match yet, so we need to continue to extend. 15, 18, and I'm choosing to extend the threes because at the eight, we're already to 32. So we're going to extend our smaller list here. Um, 21, 24, and we have a hit here with a common denominator of 24. So now, we need to rename. So eight times three is 24, and seven times three is 21. Three times eight gives us the denominator of 24. So one times eight is eight. 21 minus eight equals 13, and keep our denominator the same. The only common factor between 13 and 24 is one. We cannot simplify or break that fraction down anymore. So our answer is 13 24 So subtraction is the same exact steps as addition. We just subtract instead of add. So number four, we have a denominator of six and nine. So we need to make our multiples list. Six, 12, 18, 24, 9, 9, 18, and we have a match. So our common denominator is going to be 18. So 6 times 3 
is 18. 5 times 3 is 15. 9 times 2 is 18. So we need to do the same exact thing to the top so we have an equivalent fraction. 2 times 2 is 4. So we get to 15 eighteenths minus 4 eighteenths. And that gets us to 15 minus 4 is 11. Keep our common denominator of 18 the same. And we get to 11 eighteenths. Now 11 eighteenths does not have any common, or common uh, factors besides 1. We can't break that fraction down any further. So this is our final answer. So there you have it. There's adding and subtracting fractions. Hopefully that helped out. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, peace.